All right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to another week of NFL football. Week four is upon us. Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Tony No Dimes, along here with Max the Animal. And uh, we got some I'm, celebrating and some apologizing to I do was for, say, for last week. I'm not feeling like like the animal right now. I'm not feeling like Max the Animal. I'm just feeling like Max. Well, why is that? How'd your, how'd your pick'em draft go? Pick'ems were 0-5. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to go back and look because it's just it, so... It was 0-5. It was? Okay. I, thanks for confirming. You know, sometimes, though, it's better to be consistent than good. Yeah, well, to be honest, going 0-5 is pretty hard. Like, you couldn't even... Like if we set out this week to try and go zero and five, it'd be it'd be pretty tough. It'd be just as hard to go zero and five than five and zero. Yeah, some would argue. Yeah, some yeah. would say. <laughs> some would say. Yeah, and then I um. Prize picks was kind of a flop. Prize picks, too. I didn't do well. Listen, I had a bad week. Everybody has a down week. That's how we sum that up. Bad yeah. week. You're you're allowed to have down weeks in the NFL. It's how you bounce back. It's how you finish, not how you start. Any given Sunday, man. That goes for both ways. That goes for bad. That goes for good. You had a pretty good week. You, you uh, I did, dude. I went four and one. Bengals uh, Jets over was the only one that didn't hit. Other than that, that I was fucking golden, baby. Also hit a two square on prize picks. So look. you're officially in the competition for the year. It's three points to zero on the, as far as the prize picks entries uh, goes. And then uh, we were tied but uh, after two weeks in the pick'em draft, but now... You just took a little bit of a lead there. A little bit. It was a good week to jump ahead. <laughs> yeah, I've got some ground to make up, some would say. Some would say. Yes. All right, um... Prize picks? Let's do it. Two square, you want to start it off? Yeah, I think I need to start it off just because uh, I need to, you know, just just put this last week past me and get moving forward. We're starting off my prize picks entry, my two square. We got Traylon Burks, 35 and a half receiving yards more. Look, I I, I give it away in, in another episode somewhere because it's my favorite, absolute favorite line. Of the week, no matter what. What are you shaking your head for? Do you have I, it? No, 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 no. I don't. I'm just oh. saying it's a, it's a low total. I'm agreeing with you here. Yeah, this one is an absolute lock. And then I'm going with Travis Kelsey, more than 70 and a half receiving yards. Um, I just figured I'd need to pair this with a guy who's pretty reliable. He went for 80 yards, I believe, against the Bucks, And then like 100 yards against the Bucks the last couple of times they played. Maybe it was like 130 yards. It might have been a playoff game. But Travis Kelsey... Always shows up against the Bucks. That's my two square. Traylon Burks, Travis Kelsey. We're going with the TT. T combination. Yeah. I like it. All right. For my two square, I'm starting off with Rashad Bateman to have more than 46 and a half receiving yards. I was looking at this, and I, I think 46 is suspiciously low because Bateman, through three weeks, has been over it all three times. He's had 59 yards twice, and then he had like 108. This is against Buffalo. This is obviously going to be a shootout. Lamar Jackson's having like an MVP season on the ground through the air. Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, that's the one-two combo we all know and love. Like, why is this so low? I don't know. Seems like a little bit of a trap almost. Some would say it is a trap. I mean, they're playing Buffalo, right? Yeah. Buffalo's got a good secondary, but, you know, they're a little banged up. They're not at 100%. They just had, they just lost a tough one to Miami. I don't know. Rashad Bateman, over 46 and a half. Seems too good to be true, if you ask me. I might be uh, reaching for that trap cheese, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then I'm going to pair it with Romeo Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs? Dobbs. Dobbs. Yeah. I'll never get that right, but it doesn't matter because this week he's going over 39 and a half receiving yards against the Patriots. Patriots defense is looking awful. Aaron Rodgers is going to have his way with them. My only concern with this, really, because here's the thing. Romeo Dobbs, it's his time. He's going to break out. He he kind of already did last week. Aaron Rodgers loves the dude. We've known this since training camp. My only concern is that the Packers just run up the score so quickly on the Patriots that they just stop throwing the ball and start killing clock. Yeah, but I mean, if they're running up the score, you would have to imagine that he'd be involved in that somehow, right? Somehow. Only 40 yards needed. Not a lot for a guy who is on the come up. Romeo Dubs. And has Aaron Rodgers thrown the ball. Yeah, it should be very doable. It should be very Dobbsable. Very Dubsable. That worked that worked better. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good one. All right. Let's go to your four square. All right, my four square. Got a couple tight ends in here. Just figured I'd say that. Yeah. Just to throw it's it a out tight there. end week for you. I got Irv Smith Jr. as my first square here with more than 25 and a half receiving yards. Uh it's simple. He did this week two. He did this week three. And guess what? Playing in London. And London is where these players need to show up and shine. Also, I feel like uh, Marshawn Lattimore is a pretty good cornerback. He'll probably, not that Justin Jefferson is going to get shut down, but there's a good chance that Irv Smith could just see a couple little extra targets here or there. Maybe if Justin uh, Jefferson's getting covered real, uh, getting blanketed, as they say. In London. Yes. Uh, so Irv Smith, more than 25 and a half receiving yards. We like that. Then we, we like Cole Komet. 22 and a half receiving yards less. There we go. Less. You know why? Because he's on the Bears they and they stink. And Cole Komet had two catches this year. 
for 40 yards. They were both last week. He went week one, zero. Week two, zero. Uh, week three was the outlier. Week four, back to zero. So that's why we take the less. I was a little scared that you were going to say more there. I thought you were going to predict a Colt Komet breakout, and I was going to lay your bet to rest already. No such thing. No such thing. Uh, we got another less, though. For a Mr. J.K. Dobbins, less than 37 and a half rushing yards. He's playing Buffalo. Buffalo has a pretty good defense. I would imagine this is probably going to be a game where there could be maybe a lot of points scored. It could be a very competitive game. I feel like the run game is going to kind of just get forgotten about, not to mention J.K. Dobbins coming off an injury. Uh, seven attempts last week for 23 yards. Not not great. Not it, great. it feels like he's going to be worked in back into the offense at a very slow pace. Yeah, I don't think Buffalo is the team that you're going to want to, like, just hammer him against. You know, like, they're going to probably want to give him a little better of a matchup. So, uh, less than 37 and a half receiving uh, rushing yards there. And then I'm going to my man, Javonta Williams, for the last square. Uh, we're taking more than 50 and a half rushing yards. He is uh, he's going to crush this line. Melvin Gordon got way too many carries, and he stinks, and he keeps fumbling the ball. I think, I think it's about time uh, Nathaniel Hackett will realize that. Uh, last week, he had 15 for 58. He had 15 for 75 the week before. And then week one is the only time he didn't hit this number. That's because he only had seven attempts. So if he gets those 15 attempts, like he's been getting the past two weeks, 15 and a half should be a uh, cake. He's good for it. Absolute cake. Raiders, uh, bad defense. Bad defense, division game, Javonta Williams, more 15 and a half rushing yards. That's my four square entry. I like it. All right, for my four square entry, check this out. We're going to Philadelphia. All right, where Jalen Hurts is going to have more than 247 passing yards because these last two weeks he has crushed this line. All right, Jalen Hurts looking elite. He is having a breakout year. Thrown from the pocket. Thrown from the pocket. His game is not actually reliant on him running. Obviously, he's good at that. But if he needs to be, you know, if he needs to dominate from the pocket, he can do that too. I think Jacksonville is going to allow Jalen Hurts to have some sex th success through the air. What are they going to do? They're going to have some sex through the air. Jalen you Hurts heard have me some right. Sex? All right. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Jacksonville has a stout run defense. Uh, Philly wants to throw the ball. So, 247, not a tall ask for Jalen Hurts. So, I like the more there. On the flip side, we're going to Trevor Lawrence. More than 15 fantasy points. 15 from a starting quarterback? That is so low. How are they going to disrespect my man T-Law like that? He just needs to get those two touchdowns. Exactly. He can do that, and he's going to have to if he wants to keep pace with Philly because Philly, we know their offense is good. Jaguars' offense has also looked pretty nice, so I just think 15 for most quarterbacks is too low. Trevor Lawrence, lock it up more. To correlate with that, I got Christian Kirk more than 57 and a half receiving yards. Christian Kirk's also having a breakout year himself. I mean, he is looking like, he is worth every single penny that they have paid him in the offseason, making everyone look foolish who doubted him. He's crushed this line. Simple as that. Christian Kirk, and until th this line adjusts, I'm hammering all of his overs. Same with James Robinson, more than 50 and a half rushing yards. I took it last week and it worked, and I'm doing it again this week, and it's going to work. Why? Because James Robinson is that dude. You got three Jags in here? I got three Jags. That's hey, what I'm saying. I'm going dude. to Philly, and I'm hammering the Jags and sprinkling a little bit of the Eagles. I don't know why, but this game feels like the most interesting one of the week. You really like the Jaguars. I think the Jaguars are a very cool team. Doug Peterson obviously has a big chip on his shoulder. It's a revenge game for him. He's going to come out swinging. He's going to come out throwing haymakers. Trevor Lawrence, more. Kirk, more. Robinson, more. That's All my right. four square. I like that. As always, uh, promo code BDGE gets you 100% deposit match up to $100 for first time users. So make sure you download prize picks and do that. And then, uh, you know, if you feel like you can trust me, you know, follow, follow, follow my picks, you know, follow my entries or fade your entries no, no, until you hit me. one. I need, I need you to follow me. I'm a leader. I think you need to hit one first. Yeah, I know. All right, <clears throat> speaking of hitting, let's see if I can hit on this draft. It's <sighs> week four, so that means I'm going first. Yeah. As always, favorite, underdog, over, under, flex. Where am I going to start off? Nobody knows. I actually did come a little prepared for this. I did come with a number one pick in mind. I'm going to go with, oh, shit. What do you need? I'll tell you. No, actually, I'm still taking this, but when I was originally looking at this, they were favorites. Now they're dogs, which I find surprising. I'm talking about the Kansas City Chiefs Monday night. Uh, not Monday night. Sorry, Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Do you, you have them as one-point dogs? Plus one, yeah. Gee, 
All right, I'm taking the dog first then. I was prepared to take them as a favorite. I think they're just the better team. Tampa Bay, even though they're getting Chris Godwin back, Mike Evans will be back. I think Tom Brady won't look as bad as he has in the prior weeks, but that O-line, it's still shit. It's still shot, and the Chiefs defense, it's good. It's an underrated unit. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs coming off of kind of a brutal L against the Colts last week. I think they bounce back in a big way, plus a point. Give it to me. Yeah, like I had that game. I like that just because I don't see the Chiefs losing two in a row. Exactly. No way. Yeah. All righty. You took a dog. I took so a dog. That, that helps me a lot now. Uh, I know. Dogs, I feel like, are always available. I can't, almost want them as a favorite. I'd rather just lay the one. Yeah. So I'm going to take a dog. Actually, I shouldn't do that. I'm not going to take a dog. I'm going to save my dog. I'm going to take a favor. I'm going to take Pittsburgh Steelers minus three. Look, here's the deal. Zach Wilson is supposed to come back and play. He's going to be rusty as shit because he already sucks and he's already rusty. And uh, Steelers defense is going to get after it and dominate this game. That's a good pick. I was looking at the under in that game. I don't know if I really feel comfortable laying any points with the Steelers. Would have rather just faded both teams. But I like it. It's good. All right, so I got a favorite on the board. Or no, I got a dog on the board. This is really throwing me off the fact that the Chiefs are now dogs. Yeah, it's messing with your head. I know I wasn't prepared for that. Come on. Ah oh, man, dude, I'm all I'm all over the fucking map now, dude. I don't this, this is probably a terrible strategy. 5 seconds. Okay, this okay, okay. I'm taking the Cardinals as dogs again. No! I'm, yes, I'm using I'm using my that flex. That was my spot. dog. Was it really? Yeah, that's exactly what I was I thought I had time. No, so Shit, this dude. is probably a horrible strategy filling uh. out your flex spot already, but I love the Cardinals as dogs this week plus one and a half, right? Yeah, they're going to win that game. Straight up, they're winning like this seven. game. Yes. I know. Panthers are coming off a good win against a divisional opponent. Cardinals get embarrassed by a divisional opponent. Damn, dude. You know that the script is flipping on this one. Cardinals, I mean, we're as much as I hate Cliff Kingsbury, Matt Rule might be the worst coach in the yeah, NFL. Yeah, like, yeah. Cliff is better than Rule, and then Murray, Baker doesn't even compete with Murray. Whatever, I'm mad at you. I, I, I had that game as, that was, that was my dog. Um, I have a backup dog, though. Ah, uh, shit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take... Uh, the, uh, I hate that you took that one. I honestly just wanted to get the bets that I like, you know. Yeah, I had another it. favorite that I liked that I could have taken, but now it's just like, now i got to worry that you're going to take that. Give me the Packers minus nine and a half as my flex. That's a good one. As another favorite? Yeah, that's my flex. Fuck. You know what I think is interesting? Fuck me. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here for. But you know what I think is interesting is the Packers were like nine and a half point favorites against the Bears, and they covered that like pretty easily. Granted, I feel like they have prior ownage on the Bears, but like yeah. Brian Hoyer led Pats. I almost feel like the Packers should be laying more in that game. Yeah, so I mean, that's why I just went and took it as my flex. So I got two dogs and nothing else. I got two favorites and nothing else. <laughs> Love that. All right, man, this is this is tough. I really hope you don't take one. This is a games. tough fucking week, dude. All right, you know what? I, I, I was hyping this game up. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take Jacksonville and Philly to go over 46. Is 46 the number that you got? 45 and a half. 45 and a half. Love it that much more. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit. It's 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 going to be a very competitive game. There's kind of bad blood on both sides. I think Jalen Hurts having that MVP season already. I know it's early, but like I think he should be able to continue what he's been doing. Jacksonville, they're going to be up for this game. Over 45 and a half. All right. Uh, you took an over... I, I'm going to just take this game. This is the thing. I don't know if I like the over or the, the dog on this one. Uh, Which game I need, is that? I need both. It's the Titans Colts. I need I need both of these. So, like, you can wipe that game off. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the, uh, yeah. All right. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the over 42 and a half. Uh, division game. I expect a little more points to be scored. Um, the Colts have pretty much scored 20 points, I believe, every single week you know, of the season. They scored 20 week one. Oh, well, just kidding. They got shut up by the Jaguars. <laughs> <laughs> but they're back after being the Chiefs. Give me the, give me the over 42 and a half. I need a favorite, yeah? Yeah, I got yeah. two dogs and an over. Man, I'm going to take them as favorites. It feels super fucking gross doing it, but I think I got to do it. The Lions. No. Oh. No, that would have been gross. Yeah. I'm not I'm not that comfortable with it. Actually, you know what? Some people may argue this is more gross, but I'm taking the Las Vegas Raiders as home favorites against the Denver Broncos. Look, the Raiders all. are due. They're so due. You I can't know. go 0-4 being the Raiders. Denver, I mean, they're 2-1, but you got to admit, it's kind of a fraudulent 2-1. Yeah, they have not looked good at this all. Is, this, is, this has... Uh, Raiders winning by a field goal all over. Yeah, 100%. I, I, the fact that I don't even have to lay a full field goal makes me feel great about it, but it just looking at it on paper, seeing that I'm taking the favorited 0-3 versus the 2-1 and team, like that stinks. Yeah. But I think, you know, you calculate the situation, what's going on here. I feel good about Raiders. All right, so you got a... You got a favorite uh, I, and yeah. over and your flex spot taken. Yeah, I need a dog and an under. Uh, shit. 
All right, so I'm going to take for my under, I'm going to take the uh, Commanders Cowboys 41 and a half. I hate it so much. I think I had this as an over. I just switched it to an under because I need an under. Um, Because I think it could easily go both ways. Actually, no, scratch that. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. That feels like your hand was off the chest piece. Scratch that. Are you serious? Giants 39 and a half, Bears. Giants, Bears, under 39 and a half. Give me that one. That is egregious. Give me that one. It's a lower total. You shouldn't even, you the, should be happy. The part that I'm more upset well, about is that's the under I wanted, oh, and well, I was going to take it next. Well, well here's y- the thing. The, you the, like half were, you were halfway through your explanation yeah, of the fucking Cowboys. Yeah, but the, well, here's the thing. I realized the commanders put up no points the week before, and that doesn't happen two times in the NFL. So they're going to score points. I'm going to let you get away with it because you went 0-5 last week, and you need to bounce back in the worst way. Appreciate you, dog. Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. But now that leaves me in a position where I need an under. There's actually two that I kind of like. And not necessarily because, it, like, the teams that I'm looking at, they have good offenses, but I just think the number itself is too high. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the under of Seattle, Detroit. Seattle, Detroit, like under it. 48. Mm-hmm, 48 and a half. 48 and a half. Um, I was really debating between this game and Cleveland Atlanta, which is also like in that range. It just feels weird having that high of a number for Geno Smith and Jared Goff. I know the, I know the Lions offense has been nice this year, but DeAndre Swift is out. Amon Ross St. Brown is a little banged up. I, you know what? Now that I'm talking about it, I don't love it. I don't love it, but I, it just feels a tad bit too high. I agree. I like it. I had it. It was, on, it was on my honorable mention list. All right, so I need one more. I need a. Uh, I need a. I need a dog. And I don't really have any that I, I like, uh, other than the Titans, which I already took that game. So here's what I'm gonna do. We still got the Ravens game. Ravens game is still on the board. Give me the Ravens plus three. Give me the home dog. Both very good teams. I feel like the Ravens have a chance to at least push. Yeah, I mean, I have a bet in on the Bills side minus three. I took that like probably Monday night or something. But as the week goes on, I'm not loving it as much as i did yeah, like i wish the bills place. didn't lose last week but yeah you know we'll it's see. definitely not a bad dog like baltimore is a legit team yeah for sure maybe they saw something from that from that game against miami so we'll see yeah fuck dude i really i should have switched my my under cleveland atlanta is probably the under to go with which one would you rather have the under in uh cleveland atlanta or seattle detroit i mean Geno smith sucks so much he does but like it's also mariota versus Brissett. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that. I feel like they can make something happen at least. Really? Yeah. Over Goff, Gino? Gino's terrible. He is terrible. So bad. Seahawks are just so yeah. But that's that's the other thing I struggle with is like Seahawks Lions defenses are this so was bad in too. In Seattle, I'd maybe like it more. Like at least Cleveland has a good defense. Like out of those four teams, there is one good defense there, and maybe that could limit Atlanta. But Atlanta's been nice with it offensively. Yeah, we'll see. That that under is gonna haunt me. I know. I know I picked the wrong one, but whatever. That's the NFL Pick'em Draft Week 4. Let us know what you think. Let us know who your favorite, favorite dog over under is of the week. You got anything else to add? i just praying. Praying for a win. You need at least three wins this week, I think. You need a winning week. Yeah, I 100% need a winning week. Thanks. Yeah, I- I'm just reminding you. In yeah, case just you rub it in, dog. In case you forgot, you went 0-1-5 last week. I didn't forget. I'll never forget. All right. Use prize picks. Promo code BDG. Love you guys. See Thanks you next week. Thanks for watching. Week.